What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video we're going to talk about the new version of Dynex Solve 2.2.4. We're seeing some massive improvements in hash rate and efficiency and I want to show you guys the differences between that and the old version as well as how to set it up in Hive OS. But before we do, I want to qualify this video by saying in no way is this an endorsement to Dynex itself. Please do your own research and be aware that there are lots of accusations flying around. I'm still doing research and trying to get to the bottom of everything, but this is just strictly to demonstrate the differences between the old version of Dynex Solve and the new version. So, before we get into it, do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And let's take a look at the announcement in Discord. So earlier today, and by the way, time of recording is 7.22 p.m. on March 1st, 2023. This was announced at about 3.45 today. Uh, you do have the new GitHub version for Windows as well as the installation path. And we're going to show you how to set that up here in just a moment. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the hash rates that I was getting on the old version. So the first rig is Alderaan, which is 63070 Ti's. We were getting about 71 mega hash at about 60 watts. And then I have another rig in here called Naboo, which is 3080's and 3070's. The 3080 was getting about 90 mega hash at about 94 watts. 3070 was getting about 72 mega hash at about 88 watts. And then I have a third rig, which is consist of a little bit more variety. We've got 3060 Ti's, 3070, 3080 Ti, a 3080, a 3070, and a 3070 Ti. So the 3060 Ti's were getting about 72 mega hash at about 80 watts, and the 3080 Ti was getting 108.4 mega hash at 133 watts, and then, well, we've gone over the rest, but just to reiterate, a 3080 was getting about 90 mega hash at 100 watts, and then a 3070 about 71 72 mega hash at 95 to 100 watts and a 3070 ti at about 71 mega hash at about 92 watts so if we compare that to hash rate.no's numbers um, they were pretty close hash rate.no was a bit more optimistic on the power usage and i went ahead and took the time to get most of the GPUs put into a spreadsheet and as the hash rate and the wattage included so that we could compare it to what we're doing now on the newer version of Dynex.2.2.4. So let's go ahead and take a look at the spreadsheet real quick. So we've got 3080 Ti all the way down to a 3060 Ti and then I also have a 2070 Super. And as you can see, we went from 109 mega hash at 102 watts to 294 mega hash at 140 watts and we more than doubled or about doubled our efficiency and then on a 3080 we went from 90 mega hash at 89 watts to 272 at 140 watts and then a 3070 ti we're getting 222 mega hash at 100 watts a 3070 we went from 229 mega hash to or excuse me 72 mega hash at 59 watts to 229 at 100 watts and then the 3060 ti 72 mega hash at 59 watts to 202 at 96 watts and then the 2070 super we jump from 69 mega hash at 78 watts to 194 mega hash at 125 watts which is a very significant improvement and we should start to see that reflect in hash rate on pools as well as the difficulty and you can already see it in eco pool here uh, jumped up considerably. It was sitting at about oh 750, I should say kilohash, not megahash, by the way. And we jumped up all the way to like 171. Uh, and you can see that we are creeping up here on minor add now dot space as well. Uh, but some of the other pools are not increasing in hash rate, which I believe I saw something in their Discord stating that not all of the pools had updated to 2.2.4 and therefore 2.2.4 was not working with some of these pools but obviously it does appear to be working on eco pool and i assume it's also working on minor add now dot space as well so let's go ahead and take a look at hive os real quick and i'll show you guys how i set this up 
and it's just like it was before just some small changes so let's go ahead and pull up Alderaan and we'll take a look at the flight sheet so really the only thing that I changed was the installation URL so you've got Dynex as your coin of course you're gonna select your wallet uh, your pool will be configure and minor and then for your minor you're going to select custom and then in your setup minor config we have a new installation URL which is different than the old one and that's really the most important part but a couple of other key things to note once you paste this in here it will automatically populate your algorithm as well as your minor name your wallet and worker template just simply need to have percent wall percent and then of course you're going to paste your pool in here your password is what's a little bit odd you have to use percent worker underscore name percent now I'm seeing people in discord claiming that you do need to remove the adjust extra argument um, I personally have not it doesn't seem to make much of a difference of course you do want to remove your CPU I leave the multi GPU command enabled as well as sync I don't know if these really make a difference but for the time being I just wanted to try it and get it working and test it and so far everything's working pretty good so again let's go ahead and jump into this rig here as you can see we're getting about 220 mega hash at 100 watts but my overclocks are very different than they were before the overclocks that you're going to see in hashrate.no let's pull up a 3070 ti so we'll scroll down here to dynex and it's showing a core offset of 225 with a locked core at 2100 and memory locked at 810 and it shows that you'll get 72 mega hash at 70 watts now <clears throat> I tried those on my 3070 Ti rig, just left everything the same, and it jumped up to 81 mega hash. Not much of a dramatic increase at all. However, I was only getting about 65 mega hash instead of 72. Now, what I did, because I launched the flight sheet on Tatooine, which is the rig that consists of 3060 Ti's, 3070 Ti, 3070, 3080, 3080 Ti, that one did not like those overclocks so I just kinda defaulted everything to something that I felt was safe uh, I just simply removed all of my NV tools and just went with 250 on the core 1200 on the mem and then I set my power limits and when I did that on the 3070 Ti rig I jumped from 81 mega hash all the way up to 229 uh, but I was using uh, roughly about 180 watts which was way too high obviously um, so I did adjust everything and I've got what I consider to be pretty good overclocks considering where I want my power limits to be so as you can see on the 3070 Ti rig I'm running a core of 310 and then memory at 1200 and a power limit at 100 now, I do suggest on a 3070 Ti that you start at about 250 and just work your way up from there and figure out what's going to work best for you and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the others so on a 3080 I've got it at 300 on the core 2100 on the mem and 140 on the power limit on a 3070 I'm setting the core at 250 1200 on the mem and 100 on the power limit and then if we take a look at our 3080 ti we got power limit set at 140 got 300 on the core 1200 on the mem i could probably push this up to 2100 it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of difference really the biggest noticeable difference you're going to find is your power limit uh, now there may be better overclocks out there but this is you know after initial testing this is what I found to be uh, pretty efficient as well as getting me a lot of hash rate now if you want to take a look at the uh, pool side here let me go ahead and refresh this so it just kind of bounces around but you can see uh, Alderaan's getting 1.3 kilo hash Jakku I have removed and then we've got Naboo at 1.32 and Tatooine at 893 currently showing 3.52 kilohash, but this bounces anywhere from 3.5 all the way up to 6 kilohash. And uh, yeah, as far as efficiency and profitability are concerned, uh, let's go ahead and pull up the calculator and we'll take a look. So 
With these three rigs, we're getting 4.389 kilohash. So we'll go ahead and put that in. And then as far as power is concerned, we got to do a little bit of math here. So we've got 600 plus 700 would be 1300 plus 15. 1300 plus another 700 would put us at 2000. So 2077 watts. And yeah, it's pretty profitable. So we're burning about five dollars in power with a revenue of ten dollars and 45 cents and a profit of five dollars and 45 cents and at the time of recording dynex is currently worth let's see here uh, dynex is down 10 percent today currently sitting at 0 0.07467 and as far as it being, you know, one of the most profitable coins to mine on your GPU, uh, as you can see, Radiant difficulty is down significantly and the price is up about 30% right at this very moment. So Radiant's one of the most profitable things to mine. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at a 3090. So typically a 3090 does really well on Dynex and it's saying a profit of 31 cents. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I think this is a pretty significant improvement, and if you switch to this fast enough, you can probably take advantage of that, but I would imagine after this video comes out, as well as several other YouTubers covering it, uh, it it's going to increase drastically. So if it's something you're interested in mining, I would say do it while you can, but again, this is no endorsement for Dynex as a project, and stay tuned for additional information on why I'm saying that. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the content. Do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one.